Hi, this is Nate, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy. We're going to be reviewing Al's Garage Band Goes on a Wolf Tour today by Alvin G and Company. This is a route machine on location at Boss Battle Games in Indianapolis. Uh, other than that, please follow us on our social media formats, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, as well as click that red YouTube button. Subscribe now. Join our family. If you love arcade, if you love pinball, click subscribe. Let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? Fitching! I've had the privilege of playing this on uh, Virtual Pinball, and it is a very fun V-Pin. And I just now have the privilege of playing this in its real mechanical format. First things first, I mean, first impressions. Backlast is great, love the mirroring of it. Uh, I'm loving t the setup. You got the uh, guitar to the top left on, a r on the ramp system to the left, the spinner to the middle. Got some music playing to the background. Back to the Soundtrack seems like it's good for what it is for when this game came out. Metal Monster. And so as you just saw, they're hitting Metal Monster going up that little lane right there. It sent it up and it kicked it up. Popped it up to the, the second play field, which is to the top, which is where the guitar is. And then went through that wire form habit trail back to your, your left end lane. So table mechanics on this machine, you know, for it being an older table, is pretty good. I mean, you got an end lane to the left and end lane to the right. It allows you to uh, to allow you to play this a little bit longer. Exit lane to the left and right. Uh, you have some targets going up the left side of the uh, play field. You have some. You have, a, you have a lane that goes all the way up and to the left side of the table, to the back, uh, to the underside of the guitar. You also have another lane that is a pop-out, kicks it up to the guitar, which is on the second level of the play field, uh, which comes back to the in lane to the left. Uh, you have some targets going around the left, middle, a spinner to the top of that with, with some targets around there. You have a target coming back around to some pop bumpers. You also have an area where you're coming down to the middle, it's video mode, which is a ramp. Uh, which kicks the ball back down underneath that has a kick out that sends it to a wire form habit trail up to your right in lane. And then of course, that's pretty much it to this game. I mean, there's a couple other things that are on here, but those are the notables. As you can tell, the kick out also sends it to the upper play field on the guitar and, and comes to your in lane. Kicking it past that spinner uh, will kick it out to your wire form, which then kicks it back to your plunger to the back. So very interesting. I mean, again, think about when this machine was made. I mean, you know, it being set up the way that it is, it's uh, ahead of its time is the best way to put it. Flipper gap is actually a little wider on this, so it's gonna be a little bit of a harder play. You'll be able to drain out a little bit more. There's that, there's that lane I was telling you about that goes through the guitar. Soundtrack is there. Theme is, is very interesting. It's kind of funny, the, the art and the stuff that's on this machine, but it's working for me. I'm kind of liking it. I love it on V-Pen. I'm loving it in its mechanical format even better. Replayability on this machine is definitely there. I'd say the difficulty of this is moderate, not super high. It is very tight in the middle, so your shots you want to either go up the ramp, go around that, that orbit right there to the right. If you got enough speed, it's an orbit. Or go up that ramp right there. There's the orbit again. We're getting all the way around, hopefully. It didn't go all the way around, so it got stuck in the back, and now it's kicking out. There you go. Very nice. It's got multi-ball trigger now. Music is speeding up as well. I wish it would have lasted a little bit longer, but there you go. It's jamming. There we go. It's hard to shoot it past that disc, especially when it's going that fast. I played quite a few Alvin G and Company games. I played one that was a soccer-based game that was two-player. That was pretty awesome. And this one is a uh, single-player, of course. But Alvin G, they they came out with some pretty cool things.
all in all, a great table. Definitely looks good. Plays well. I like it in both both virtual and mechanical format. Definitely fun plays across the board. If you can find this anywhere on location, definitely check it out. Worth your time. Again, follow us on all of our social media formats. And please click subscribe. Join the family. Anyway, thank you for watching today.